I had went to the doctor and um, I was having trouble with one of my medications and I went to switch and they were like, uh, we can't switch you, you're pregnant. And I was like, what? Yeah, it turned out I was five months along and I had no idea. It was shocking news, but news she and her boyfriend welcomed. We were living in a one bedroom apartment. We had to get all the baby stuff and we had to do it fast. And my right foot's broken and my left foot has 21 screws in it. So like I couldn't work. We were trying to do all this on one income and the Lord always provides and, and he made it happen. Heather's not a first time mom. Contractions weren't the same as they were with my older daughter. I didn't even recognize them as contractions until I started noticing they were on a schedule. So they went to the hospital. They sent me home and said I wasn't in labor. <laughs> but later that night, my contractions were back to back to back to back to back. I had to call 911. And he's like, why can't I take you in the car? And I'm like, I'm not going to make it. Like, she's coming now. I could feel her crowning. <laughs> Kokomo Fire Department answered the call. All these firemen come in the house. I'm like having a baby in front of all these guys that I don't know. Kokomo firefighters stayed with her in the ambulance. Being in motion when you're in labor is not fun. <laughs> like those bumps are way bigger when you're in labor. <laughs> It was a quick entrance into the world for Jezzery. We called 911 at like 8.10 and I had her at like 8.25. <laughs> and she says she couldn't have done it without the help of Kokomo firefighters. I want to thank the fireman that delivered her. I mean, he really caught her like a football. <laughs> He's like, make this push count. Like, okay, I did. Mr. Witt was the one who held my hand. Thank you. <laughs> I can't even talk about it without crying. <laughs> he didn't even know me and it didn't matter. You know, he just, he knew what I needed and he did it. Oh, just love that. Now, mom and dad were not allowed to be in the hospital at the same time with the baby. That's, of course, because of COVID. So they're definitely all happy to be home together now. And she's beautiful. And my goodness, I cannot even imagine going through that, Angela. Phone call to 911, 8-11, uh, delivery at 8-25. That's 14 Fast. minutes. <laughs> yeah, she was ready to come into this world. Fast. Wow. Oh, and she looks so cute in her pink little romper. She did. She did. <laughs>